Hey, gonna give you my quick review of the new Volkswagen Jetta. I had it about, I don't know, month now, month and a half. Absolutely love this car. Um, what can I say about it? It's the first real car I've bought in 30 years. I've been driving nothing but trucks. Okay, it's 31 miles to the gallon on the highway, 25 in the city. Seems like it gets more than that. Um, take you around it. Good looking car, man. Uh, Jettas have like a cult following. People just really dig Jettas. They're German engineered. They're made in Mexico. Got moonroof. Shark spin antenna. Wooden dog. So let's check out the trunk. It's 2.5 liter, five cylinder. Never heard of that before. Self-opening trunk. The trunk is huge, man. I, I could get in there with maybe two other people. You know, if you need that kind of stuff. Um, but here, you see these? Look at that. That's like that's like 50 style. I don't know where they came up with that crazy idea. Look at that. Uh, 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 uh. So everything you put in there and you, that goes down, it'll crush. So you got to be careful. Um, nice rims, 16 inch tires, not too flashy, you know. Um, the back seat has a ton of room and I'm like a big tall guy. Back seat has like so much room. It'll take five people. Um, 12 volt outlets, power door locks, air conditioning, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like, like a 12 speaker system here. Uh, really sounds good. Imitation leather, pleather. Uh, feels just like leather. You got six airbags. A lot of hard plastic on here, nothing too soft. Here it's soft, sort of, but everything's hard plastic, which is fine for me because I'm a messy kind of guy. Let's take a look at the engine. Then we'll take a look at the cockpit. One of the selling points on this car was to me, because down here everything rusts. Um, everything in the engine is encased in uh, fiberglass reinforced nylon and aluminum. So rust is a big problem down here. So this definitely uh, solves that problem. Let me fold up my tripod and take you in the cockpit. Once you get in here, it's really nice. That's the view from what you see. You've got your Bluetooth on here. You've got your radio controls, volume controls, um, tachometer, speedometer. It's real basic. Um, not too much propaganda to get you confused. Close up the door here. Now you've got a screen um, stereo with satellite. I'm turn on. The satellite is pretty cool, but I'm not paying for it. I'm not going to pay 20 bucks a month for this. The air conditioning is nice. It's not like freezing cold, but it gets really cold in here. Um, you've got the 
moonroof, sunroof, whatever. Um, again, everything in here is hard plastic. You have a great view of the road. Um, in here, you got a six-speed automatic transmission. And with the automatic six-speed, you can put it in the sport, or you can shift it manually if you feel the need to. Uh, you got cup holders here. Everything's laid out. I'm a tall guy. My head doesn't hit too often. Um, you got vanity lights up here. Um, more Bluetooth controls with microphones. And then in here, this is pretty groovy. You move this back. And instead of light being here, the light lights up here. So I close it, goes off, turn it on. Um, it's a good car, man. And I am getting great gas mileage. No ashtrays in here. I don't smoke in the car. Um, you got a lock and glove box. It's going to work out. This is going to work out really good for me. I really like this car. Um, and it's quiet. And it's good on gas. And I can actually go places now. Uh, it starts up real easy. Take it back out. Now, one of the other interesting features about this car is you can't lock your keys in the car until you take the keys out of the ignition, take them out of the car, and move away from the car. You can't lock the car. And that's it. There you go.